What's going on guys, Lucas here. Today I will be teaching you how to code a basic heal plugin for Minecraft. So this is the episode 2 of how to code a spigot plugin. Um, so yeah, let's get into coding a basic heal plugin for Minecraft. So let's start off by making a new Java project. I just right clicked and clicked new Java project. Let's name this heal. We're going to open that up right click the heel, go to properties, go to java build path, add external jars, and then you're going to add the spigot build tools that we did with the last one, and then apply and close. Alright, let's right click the source folder, click the package, let's do me.yourName, and then heal, me.yourName.heal. And then right click new class. We're going to call it main. We're going to close these two. Those are from last ones. Here, actually, let's keep the um, let's keep uh, let's keep the plugin dot open so we can refer to that later. All right. So now that we have this open, we got extends Java plugin. We do that every time we make a plugin. Next, we need to make the two methods public void on enable. And the public void on disable. So now that we have those two, now we can go over here. Remember control and space. Go to on command command sender, whatever. Uh, get rid of the comment, change super dot on command to false. All right, now this is pretty much the setup you're gonna need for any plugin. Not any plugins, because some you're not gonna have a command for. This is pretty much the basic setup. So remember, we're gonna check if the command equals slash heal. So to do that, we're gonna use an if statement. We're gonna do if label dot equals, remember ignore case because it's just if someone does a capital and you just do ignore, I mean equals, it's all hell's all hell's gonna break loose pretty much. So do ignore case, and then we're gonna do heal. So if the player does slash heal command, it will run this command in here. It will run everything in here. So we'll check if the sender is not the instance of a player. So sender instance of player. And it's gonna ask us to import player. I forgot to mention this last tutorial. But hover over player and then import player. There's a shortcut to import uh, control shift O. It will import everything that you need. But sometimes it will mess up because uh, if you use chat color, then you need a specific import. So probably import that manually for chat color. So let's do this for inside. So if it's not a player, I went over this last tutorial. If it's like console, so we'll do sender dot send message. You need to be a player to run this command. And then we gotta do return true, so then it doesn't keep on going. It would just stop here. All right, next we're gonna check if the sender. We actually we're gonna put the exclamation point for not. So if sender does not have permission, sender does. Yeah, and then we'll put heal dot use. So we're going to put sender dot send message. We're going to put a chat color here. Chat color dot red. Remember to import the right one. Org dot bucket dot chat color. Then we're going to put plus. You do not have permission. And then return true. And then we're going to see if I uh, halt. If the player passes both of these, 
So if it is a player and the player does have permission, then we'll do um, we'll cast play, um, the sender into a player variable. So player sender. By doing that, this is pretty much putting sender inside of a player variable, which is P. You can name that anything you want, like player, plur, I don't know. I just like to do P since it's really easy. So we'll do P dot set health. Yeah, so it's a double, so you can put a decimal, but all right, so 20 is the max health because each heart is two since there's half hearts. So if you want to put it at two hearts, I don't know why you want to do because it's a heal plugin, but yeah. If you put two, it will just heal one heart, or set you at one heart, and then we'll put p dot send message. Actually, we'll put a chat color. Chat color dot green plus you have been healed. So there's that. Um, this is a very basic plugin about 40 lines of code, it's really easy. Um, let's go over this. So we're checking if the label equals heal. So if the player does slash heal in chat, it's gonna run this code. Next, it's gonna ch check if the sender is not instance of a player, because the exclamation point is not in Java. And then if it's if it's not a player, it's going to run sender dot send message. You need to be a player to run this command, and then return true, telling it to stop the code. Next, it's going to check if the player does not have permission, and if the player does not have permission, heal dot use. Then it's going to send a send a message to the sender saying you do not have permission, and then return true, stop the code. Next, if the player does have permission and he is a player, or she. It's gonna put the sender sender inside of a player variable, set the health of that player to 20, which is max health, and then send a message to that player saying you have been healed. Oh, and you gotta return true. Save that and then right click heal, go to new, go to file, and make a plugin that way along. Now what you could do is copy this, all of this, from the hello world project we did last tutorial and then paste it in here and then we could just put in instead of hello world we'll put heal heal and then description we'll put an actual description this time allows players with a permission no with the permission to heal themselves yeah Last players with the permission to heal themselves. And then we'll do hello, we'll do heal. Description, we'll do heals the sender. All right, so now we got this, now we're gonna export it. So right click heal, export it, jar file, and then choose a destination and then finish. All right, let's go into the server and see if this works. Okay, so we're in the world now. Let's see if it works. Okay, so let's all go to oh, let's go to survival. Let's take some damage, and it works. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, sorry for the long wait, by the way, for long wait between episode one and two. Um, I'll try to make that shorter. Probably like every other day I post one. Um. Next episode, I'll probably get into multi-command stuff. It's kind of pretty. It's really easy. You, you can probably figure it out yourself. But I still want to go over it in, in case if you guys are new to Java and don't understand it fully yet. So yeah, next uh, episode I'll go over slash heal and slash eat. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It definitely won't be a, as long as a wait. So yeah, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end it here. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.